Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome up to Looking For Real this time. Thank you very much. So for those of you who have not used ScoreApp, uh, ScoreApp is all about creating online scorecards, quizzes, and surveys that collect lots of data. And that data can be used to generate high converting leads. So essentially, we've got lots of nice templates where you can set up a scorecard. And a scorecard, our system of setting up a scorecard has four things. It has a landing page, <clears throat> beautiful landing page that gets people to want to fill in the scorecard. It's then got a questionnaire where it asks somewhere like 10 to 20 questions or sometimes a bit more so that people are answering some questions. It takes those questions, uses a point system, and then gives dynamic results. And those results change based upon how you answer the questions. And then it's got promotional tools and follow-up um, insights about the data that you collect. So once you've got all of this data coming in, you get all this really pretty data so that you can see how people answer your questions and you can see all the leads and all of that sort of stuff. Now, this system's been really, really great. It worked so well for us and we rolled out several different scorecards, generated like 90,000 leads and millions and millions of worth of sales. Um, and then lots of other really amazing people started using ScoreUp, um, some famous people, some people who have just got normal businesses and it's been going really well. However, one of the hardest things about uh, setting up a scorecard is that you've got to create some content. You've got to write all the content. And uh, sometimes that takes a lot of time, right? If you haven't already done the preparation. So this is a great opportunity for OpenAI and GPT-3 to come in and do the work for you. And what we've been doing is building that so that it just does that as if by magic. And think about it a bit like this, right? So electricity came along and there was this incredible new power, this electricity power, and we knew how to generate electricity but then that electricity got plugged into all sorts of different devices and those devices ran on electricity. So, you know, you can think about this lovely little blender here as being an application for electricity. So the electricity is the energy or the power that travels across and then it powers this thing called a blender. So what we want to think, we, we want you to do is think about AI as a new form of electricity, a new form of power. It's being generated by a big company, a multi-billion dollar company that generates that AI, but it can actually plug into other people's little applications like ScoreApp. So to demo what we've been doing over at ScoreApp, I'd like to hand over to the CEO and co-founder, Stephen Oddy. Um, and Stephen is going to share with us a demo of how an AI can do something that takes hours, if you're a human, in a matter of minutes. So Stephen, are you with us? I am. Hello, everyone. Good so, yeah, good to see you. So, um, this demo I got back from the developers on Monday afternoon. Uh, they've been working on it for a couple of months. Uh, literally, beginning of this year, we kind of started to integrate uh, with OpenAI. And yeah, so first look at it was on Monday. We made a few tweaks yesterday and this morning, and, and here we are. So there's definitely uh, uh, still a few weeks work to do on this before um, it will be in the hands of any customers. So uh, certainly an, an early preview. Uh, so, so what so Stephen said, Stephen, go through nice and slow. You just clicked the button, which was create a new scorecard. So I'll just, <laughs> just go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So... Uh, as Dan said, you know, biggest challenge for our customers is just getting over that hurdle of setting up, you know, writing a landing page, writing questions, writing results. It's, you know, it's a bit like if anyone's, you know, uh, created a website for their business or a micro site, you know, for most people getting that content down is the hardest bit. And that's a big part of kind of setting up your quiz. But up until this point, we've had templates and we throw lots of support in and, and we and we help guide people through the process, but it can still take a considerable amount of time. Now what we've got, when you click create scorecard, we've got the, the two methods that you had previously, which is start from scratch um, or pick a template. When you when you choose pick a template, we've got kind of 50, 60 templates in there and you know they're great starting places and you can just go in and edit and change anything, but they are you know, they're the same 50, 60 templates every time you go in. And then this is our, our nice new shiny tool that we're that we're working on right now. So if I click use the AI setup wizard, get a little bit of an intro about it and a bit of a disclaimer to say, um, not our fault if it says something bad. And then uh, you get started. 
so the first thing we ask you is is what you're trying to do what you're trying to create with this scorecard um so for the majority of our customers it's generate new leads then we ask you how you want to structure your results so these are the common formats on score app so it's either you deliver kind of like one overall score to somebody or it might be that you deliver you know an outcome quiz so you might say you're an introvert or a certain type of business um or we break down multiple scores and multiple results um, and, and ask you questions against those things and give that give that feedback based on those scores. That's what I'm going to go for with this one. Now we just ask a few questions to get started. So how would you describe your business? So for this example, I'm going to do an SEO specialist. So SEO specialist. Now we ask you, how would you describe your target audience? And we've already gone to OpenAI at this point to kind of say, ask OpenAI, what would be example target audiences for an SEO specialist? So it's already starting to suggest stuff and like help you fill in this form. Um, so I'll just go small businesses for this. And then the same again, would you want to help your clients improve, achieve or prevent using this scorecard? And we give some suggestions. So increase organic traffic, improve website rankings, prevent penalties. It's kind of like getting these, you know, pretty spot on just from literally these two bits of information that I've typed in so far. What I'm actually going to do is go rank on page one. That's what I am going to help people achieve. Now it's time to pick a concept for the scorecard. Rank on page one, test your SEO knowledge. SEO quiz, are you ready to take the top spot? <laughs> Small business SEO tests, are you ready for page one? Let's go for, let's try and get some small suggestions actually. Small business SEO showdown, take the challenge. Rank on page one, ready or not? Let's go for this one. So now, as I mentioned earlier, we chose the, um, the multiple scores. So now we're suggesting things that you can score people against. So this is where you just simply you know, add whatever it is that you want to score people against. So keywords, great thing to score people against. Uh, content, competition. Um, let's see what else we've got. Page speed. That's a good one. Now I've got four things I want to score people against. Simple as that. Not really had to use my brain much so far. And now we're starting to suggest questions based on the keywords. So now, do you know the keywords your target audience is using to search for a business? Great question. Do you have a list of keywords that are related to your business? Have you researched your competitors' keywords? Have you optimized your website's content with keywords? Do you have a strategy for tracking keyword performance? These are all pretty great questions, right? And I'm just gonna click next. There are my keyword questions. Now I get some questions about content. Does your website have a blog? Does your blog have fresh content regularly? Do you have content marketing strategy, you have keyword research in place. So, you know, not they're not all great. So we have the option to kind of say, no, not, not great, but you know, the the pretty good starting places. I should point and out if on we here don't, as well, if, you know, if we don't like exactly, we can edit those questions too, can't we? Yeah, exactly. So we've got kind of the the pencil here. Yeah, and this is just the setup process as well. So obviously once you've gone through this process, you go back into the usual builder within score up as if you started from scratch and you know you can go in and add and edit anything. It's really just kind of like getting rid of that blank piece of paper kind of thing. Competition category, do you know who your top competitors are? Do you know what keywords competitors are ranking for? Do you know the backlinks competitors have acquired? Like these are spot on questions. Do you know the social media person competitors? All right, final category, page speed category questions. Are you leveraging browser caching for your website? Have you minified your HTML, CSS, and JavaScript files? Are you using CDN? <laughs> Is your website up to the Like these are all the exact questions an SEO specialist would ask you. Um, okay, so, so we've picked all our options, we've picked our categories, picked our questions. All we have to do is hit create now and off it goes in the background uh, and, and it starts creating. And, and I don't know if you noticed theory, that, but it just also said that it's written about 2000 words 
and it's saved about 30 hours worth of writing. Um, so it's, uh, it's gone and done all that in about a minute. So let's have a look at the scorecard it's created. Yeah, so um, let's just jump straight in, see what it's created. So here's the landing page. Get ready to rank on page one. Answer 15 questions and we'll send you a personalized report. Take our quiz to find out if you're ready to rank on page one. We'll evaluate your website keywords, content, competition, and page speed and provide you with valuable feedback that will help you to get the best rankings possible. Take the scorecard. Okay. So these are all the questions we've picked, right? So I'll just, I'll fly through these. I need to read those out again. And then we get to the results page. Okay, so I kind of scored average on, on most things and 0% on other things. But thanks for taking the quiz. Congratulations on completing the quiz. Your results will provide you with an understanding of your website's current performance and offer advice on how to make improvements to rank on page one. Read through your full result, results below to make sure you're taking full advantage of every opportunity to increase your visibility online. <laughs> so then you That's can see, it. you know, here we scored uh, yeah, 0% on competition. Your website is at a disadvantage compared to your competitors. Make sure to analyze your competitors' websites and identify any opportunities for improvement. Also consider taking advantage of any backlinks or other SEO taxes. Yeah. And then here, you've made a good start with optimizing your website for keywords. It's literally written different content um, for each of these sections, uh, depending on how you, how you scored. So just to, to be really clear, the, uh... if, if you're not familiar with the system, that dynamic content, you have to write different content for each category that people score in. The AI just did all of that in a matter of seconds. It did the low score, the medium score, the high score, and it wrote different content depending on how people scored. Um, incredible. Yeah, exa exactly. Yeah. So, you know, this is in the editor now. You can see you've got all of the low scores in there. I can flick through to the medium. That's the medium. It's got the content. That's the high content. And it's, and it's all, you know, an absolutely great starting place. You know, I'm kind of been saying it gets you to about 80%, but, you know, this feels like 95% done to me. Um, we've even kind of written the result email as well. So congratulations. You've taken the first step to improving search engine rankings. Click here to view your results. So, uh, yeah, su super impressive. And this is like, you know, our, our version one. And, you know, we started, like I said, at the beginning of the year. And I, sh I should say as well, like, we have done this with uh, just our existing team, our existing developers, um, no real AI specialist. This is the beauty of what OpenAI have released and what they've given the API, you know, opened the API up to us. Um, you know, we just put a good developer on it has been able to do that integration. Um, and we just had to kind of like work hard on, on the prompts. Um, but that is kind of just a, a bit of a kind of a common sense kind of thing. Um, and, uh, and, and that's what we've been able to produce in just a few weeks. Paul Dunn, can I please hear your reaction? Can I get a Paul Dunn reaction, please? Daniel, you heard you you read it on the chat, right? I mean, so many people are going, "Oh, wow, wow, wow!" And that, that is just amazing. I I was trying to figure out how many weeks we put into uh, creating our scorecard uh, here at B1G1, and it's a long time. And to see that is like, oh my gosh! So so super good job, Dan. As always, well done. It's just incredible. Amazing. And I just want to say hats off to Stephen and his team of developers. Yes, and, and yes. It, yes, I just want to also mention. Um, it's it's important to mention that a lot of our developers are actually in Western Ukraine and have spent the last 12 months um, with their lives turned upside down. And even still, they are incredibly committed and dedicated to, to what we're doing and, and have been an amazing team and the camaraderie and the, the enjoyment that we've had working together over the last 12 months under incredible circumstances has been, um, has been nothing short of amazing. Um, so uh, hats off to the team who have done that. Now, for those of you, you're wondering what comes next. So we've now got the building of the scorecards um, happening. What happens is you will launch the scorecard. 
Uh, you'll get people taking the scorecard and then more magic starts to kick in. So what you'll start to see is you'll start to see uh, data coming in where you'll have access to how people are answering your questions. This is just one question you might ask. And you'll have like 31% of people said yes and 69% of people said no. And you click on that piece of data and hit the little AI button down the bottom and da -da, it's going to write a press release for you and it's going to create some information about that data that you can then send out to your list or that you can use on social media or you can send to the <laughs> New York Times. And then on top of that, you're going to say, well, hey, I want a weekly content marketing plan and you're going to get an email and it says, hey there, Daniel, you've got lots to talk about this week. We've prepared tweets and posts and press releases for you to use, and it's going to be creating all of this incredible content for you that you'll be able to use. So for everything from creating the scorecard through to the content marketing strategy is all going to be, we're going to be doing the heavy lifting for you. Um, now, going back years ago, this strategy, we invested a lot into this, but it generated 90,000 leads and millions and millions worth of sales. Once we got it right, it hardly changed and always continued to give us great leads every single week. So I want you to know that all of these great, amazing tools are coming um, in the coming weeks and months. We're going to be rolling out with um, uh, groups of, say, 50 to 100 in the beta group, and then we're all expanded out to the wider um, community and to the wider audience. Um, the best way to get access is to be a Score app um, user. So if you haven't done so already, you can start a free trial. Um, and with a free trial, uh, if you um, will post in the chat a link for you to start your free trial, um, and then you can actually have a go at what it's like to build a scorecard um, using the existing tools. And then as soon as it's ready, we're going to have access to advanced tools that you can uh, leverage the AI. And you've seen, this is what we've been able to create since January. So, you know, expect exciting things to come uh, in the year ahead. Uh, Scorex going to do all of this for you um, for around £29 a month. If you're a small business, £89 a month. If you're a bit bigger business, um, the strategy has been mapped out in the book Scorecard Marketing. As part of your free trial, you'll get the copy of the book. Um, the book is being updated with AI um, content in the book as well. You'll get to be part of our community who share strategies as to how to use scorecards to grow their businesses. Um, and also, as part of your free trial, we'd like to invite you to an event called Set Up and Score, where Lee will actually be taking you through all the nuances of how to do a really successful scorecard marketing campaign. So Lee is just phenomenal. Um, it's not a day that doesn't go past, uh, not a day goes past without someone saying that Lee massively helped their business uh, with their scorecard marketing campaign. So all of that's um, all of that's coming. Um, and uh, hopefully we get to see you transform your business with lots and lots of leads that was created with AI tools and AI systems. So uh, let me know in the chat, what do you think of that? What do you think of this um, uh, this way of doing things? And uh, hopefully this is one of the first times you've seen a business plugging uh, AI directly into the back uh, of the portal. Um, and uh, you can definitely reach out to us and talk to us about what you've seen. Um, and, uh, and you can uh, get involved that way.